My name is Brian Barnes, and welcome to the Echo Reps Advanced Video Training Series. Um, I'm here today with Josh Orr, who is a local food and waste activist. He is interested in recycling, but primarily the recycling of food waste. Um, and he's been interning for uh, some months at the composting project, the community composting project that we have at U of L. Josh is in a position to receive an advanced Echo Rep certification. This will be the first advanced Echo Rep we've certified in the metro area. And we're really uh, pleased and proud of the vision that Josh has and the steps that he intends to take um, in order to use his Echo Reps training. So uh, with no further ado, I'm going to let Josh uh, come over and talk about uh, his experience training with the Echo Reps at U of L to earn this advanced training. Hello, I'm Josh Orr, and I am the first certified advanced Eco Rep uh, from the U of L Eco Reps program. About nine months ago, I heard about some real cool stuff that U of L was doing with composting. I called Brian Barnes. Uh, Somebody directed me to him. They said he was the guy that started the process and that he could help me learn a little bit about organic waste recycling. Uh, Brian took me around in a van. He drove me around the city uh, showing me where he picked up waste from in some five gallon buckets, coffee shops, and a couple of other places. I told Brian that this was great and I thought we could do a lot more. So he gave me the keys to the van and I started calling my friends, calling some local restaurants, uh, a place called The Root Cellar, a few other establishments and see if we could collect their organic waste as well. They were extremely excited about the process and over the last six months we've collected over 70 tons of organic waste from about 15 different community partners and over 20 or 30 individuals. It got me so excited working with Brian uh, and learning about this process that I've decided to put a lot of energy into expanding uh, organic waste recycling in Louisville by naming an operation Feed the Dirt and working with some folks to get property and the tools we need to make that happen. Well, there's not an organic waste processor in Louisville right now. There is a couple of groups that do organic waste collection, mainly QRS Recycling, who partners with establishments such as U of L and Bellarmine University. But that waste is transported to other states um, and not exactly used for agricultural purposes in the end result. So. Our vision is to close the loop of organic waste and to get that organic waste that's being collected into the hands of local farmers at the end of the chain so that they can in turn grow more organic food to feed our city. Well, I learned a lot about leadership and organization because in order to expand things, you really have to stay organized and make sure you're recording all your data. When you're working with a professional institution like the University of Louisville, you have to make sure that you have uh, your story straight when people ask you questions and you can show what resources you've been using. I also found it a great opportunity to just collaborate with others and learn how to talk to people about what we're doing clearly and make sure that they are familiar with what we're doing. I think that training with EcoReps gives people a real hands-on experience, um, a real sense of community and a way to be engaged in the way that they need to with collaborators and peers and all the connections that they're going to need to make in order to make a project like this successful. You can go and visit in other states larger scale composting operations and you can um, attend classes of various sorts to learn about the systems and processes that are in place, but it's hard to get a sense of scale until you start doing it yourself and I think EcoReps gives a great opportunity to get involved at a scale you can handle um, and gets you a real sense of what you're getting yourself into. I think the important part is that uh, a resource like the University of Louisville is extending their hand to folks in the community that aren't necessarily registered as a student or a professor of any sort, but that these kind of partnerships can evolve when motivated people want to do things related to sustainability. At U of L, sustainability matters. If you'd like to get involved with the Echo Reps program at the basic or advanced level, please contact me, Brian Barnes, through the Echo Reps website at louisville.edu/sustainability. Thanks for watching.